questions. Tell me what's on your mind. Okay. okay. Interview. I'm the child. For um, <laughs> um this is school age interview. And I'm interviewing Samira. I'm gonna ask you a few questions, okay? First question is, what, kind, what type of games do you like to play? Uh, I like, I, don't, I like playing on my Xbox. Uh, I don't really like play a lot of games, but the games I do play, they like medicine games. I want to be a doctor when I grow up. any collections like stamps, cars, dolls, etc? Yeah, I collect, I like collecting phone cases, chargers, books, and this is this two series that I collect, Dark Diaries and Diary of a Kid. Uh, I collect perfume and like basically girl products, stuff from pink, clothes, leggings, so yeah. Who lives in your house with you? My dad, my mom, and me. Oh, and my two dolls, my American girls, Sasha and Skyler. Your two who? My two dolls. Question number three. Question number four. Um, what job do you have around the house? My job is to take out the trash and help my mom wash the dishes and put the uh, whites and the colors in the load uh, and relax with my mom. Yeah, that's my job. What happens if you don't? If you forget to do your chores? Uh, probably get my electronics taken away or more more effective uh, punishments not the ones that you want to have mom so yeah uh, I don't get like punishments that's easy they have like hard punishments have strict parents what do you like best about each of your Brothers and sisters. Do you have brothers and sisters? No. Okay. Can I say God brother? Yes, you can. Uh, my God brother is one, and I like how he's playful, and he likes to laugh, and he likes to say my name and stuff, and he's like just like has very energetic, and I never have a dull moment when he's around. So yeah. Does there anything bother you about your about your god brother? show myself in the good. Again, I get harsh punishments. It's not easy punishments. Uh, like more of punishments. It's more harsh. And like especially when a teacher gets called. That's just uh -uh. no. It's not easy for me. So, yeah. Six. Okay. 
Alright, he told me what happens when you um, don't do your chores. Um, when you don't follow the rules of the house. Uh, do you think it's fair when you get punished? Yeah, because if we didn't have rules to, like we have today, then like everybody would be out of control and it wouldn't be any stabilization in this world. So I think it's my mom is creating a respectable young woman and my mom and dad. Yeah. What do your parents like? What are your parents like? What do you do your parents like and dislike about you or things? You do. Uh, my mom like my mom and dad like when I get good grades. Uh, I, I get win a trophy in sports, or I get acknowledged in sports. Uh, I get acknowledged by my teacher, and like just get noticed for stuff like being good, not in a negative way. And they dislike when I get noticed in a negative way when I when the teacher calls or my I'm not participating in sports or I'm lacking in a certain thing so yeah pretty much not not doing what I'm supposed to do oh my best friends are Alexandra Jayla my mom my dad my grandma my bro my god brother well basically my whole family is my best friend range of friends because I have a, a close-knit group that's, that's very trustworthy. Right, Mom? <laughs> well, I was asking with one person. What do you like best about one best friend? I like that they're easy to talk to. They like to have fun. They know when to stop playing. Mm -hmm. They are ready to listen. They have, like, they have get-togethers and they're close to their family and they're not like they're not to their self when they don't want to tell you what's going on with them like if there was something really wrong with them they would like tell you so, yeah. okay, is there anything you don't like about your best friend sometimes they like to deny how they feel but sometimes like most of the time, they tell how they feel, and they can act out when they get in front of new people, or they just, they, how do you, how you can put this? They don't like to be popular. They like to be by themselves, and if they do have certain feelings, they just tell me, and not a lot of people, so yeah. Would you tell them, them, him or her? I think I would, because I am a tattletale. So I probably would, but I would try to help them to correct it before I tell. And if they don't correct it, then I probably most likely would tell. Anyone you don't like, and please explain. Honestly, I'm not going to say I don't like, I don't like, dislike anybody, because honestly, I do. And... I don't talk to them because that solves the problem. I don't need to hear their point of view. I don't need to be hugged, nothing. Just go over there and stick with your people and I'll stay with mine. So that's the only, I don't really dislike anybody because I don't talk to them, the people that I don't dislike. So, yeah. Question 11. If this person, if this person did something wrong, would you tell on him or her? Why or why not? Um, oh, I would tell on them quick, quick, because you're doing something wrong. I am. I say I'm a teacher's pet, and I want. I like being a teacher's pet. And if somebody does something wrong, and the teacher tells me to like tell on them or say what is going on in the class while she's out or while she's in, and just like be the navigator. I don't tell. I don't care who you are. You can be the president. I'm going to still tell. Is there anyone who doesn't like you? I don't care. I focus on my work and my sports and getting into college and getting good grades and 
being respectful to my parents. I don't care who don't like me. They can keep not liking me because I'm going to be the way I am forever. I do get in my feelings sometimes. Like when it's close people that I really thought liked me, I do get in my feelings. And I'm like, why do you don't like me? And this, that. But it's, if it's people that I don't talk to or like normally speak with how I feel and this, I just leave them alone. I just go the other way. Do um, you ever get in a fight with friends? Yeah, a couple of times. One of the times we had to get a counselor, the school counselor to help us. But it wasn't like that serious. But a couple of other times it got serious, but it never got to a point of physical where you had to punch or hit. It was just verbal. And it wasn't like verbal abuse, it was just like talking and saying mean names and stuff to each other. But we solved it out because each time we would either tell our teacher or go to the school counselor. We thought about like sharing lunch or not being someone's friend and being another person's friend. Or this person liking this guy and this person not liking this guy. And then this person having this teacher but not being in the same class. It was really stupid stuff. It was just stuff that we forced and under, like, full thought over just to be the popular crowd. I told the counselor or the teacher or I just stood my ground and be like, if you don't want to be my friend, then you don't got to be my friend. That's going to be it. You had a problem. You be the first person you would go to.